What is going on guys? Welcome to your 20th chemistry tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about positron emission. Now in order to understand positron emission we first need to understand what the heck a positron even is. So if we take a look at the definition it says the antimatter counterpart of the electron. Okay that sounds like something you would find in a superhero movie. So what is it? So a positron is basically in everyday terms an electron that has a positive charge not a negative charge. So you know how I said probably in the last video or two videos ago that sometimes some really weird stuff happens inside the nucleus? Well this is one of those cases. Sometimes in the nucleus you can lose a proton so let me just go ahead and write this out and it could actually turn into a neutron which has zero charge and an electron with a positive charge kind of freaky huh and this electron with a positive charge is what we refer to as the positron it's basically the opposite of an electron and in fact whenever you have a positron that collides with an electron a huge bundle or burst of energy is released and both particles get completely destroyed so pretty weird huh if you ever heard the term um, energy and matter cannot be created or destroyed well in this case you can take two pieces of matter and collide them and convert them into energy so that's true some of the time um, but not in this case so let me go ahead and show you guys an example of when indeed you would have this it happens a lot with the element potassium 40 and you write that 40 19 K is a symbol for potassium how they got that is beyond me but this can go ahead and convert to 40, 18, and that, since we have a new atomic number, it's actually a new element, it's argon, and you also have this positron, and you write positrons 0 plus 1e. And again, that positron right there is basically the whole concept behind positron emission. So what exactly is going on here? Well, first of all, we're taking a proton in the nucleus of the potassium and converting it to a neutron and a positron. So that is why, since protons and neutrons have the exact same mass, that our mass number is going to stay the same. However, since we're losing a proton, basically, that's why our atomic number goes down from 19 to 18. So basically we have a new element that's formed that has the same mass but one less proton and we also have a positron that gets emitted from the nucleus. And that's basically it. So uh, let me think. The positron gets emitted from the nucleus, yada yada. I think I covered everything. So just remember that it loses a proton but it gains a neutron and you get a positron emitted and also that a positron is antimatter which is kind of weird because you can have two forms of matter that collide and completely destroy each other and turn into just plain a burst of energy and we're going to be talking about more on that later on but in the next tutorial we have to go over yet another really weird thing but, but I just like can't skip these things I need to teach you guys these things and it's actually pretty cool it's called electron capture so that's what you have to look forward to in the next tutorial thank you guys for watching and I will see you then